I want to ask you guys a simple question. Okay. If Dak Prescott were to hit the free agent market, you think a team would pay him the top top of the market at the QB position? I do. No. No. I do. I, I do. If they I do needed not, a quarterback? No, I do not think a team would pay Dak Prescott, make him the highest paid quarterback in the national. I football. wouldn't, but I, I think that, a team would. I don't. I don't see. I don't see that happening. You're talking about 34, 35 million dollars per year. I don't see that happening. Listen, Dak Prescott. I know people want to talk about the, his record, and his record is is pretty is pretty damn good. There's no no dispute in that. But I think also what you got to look at uh, with the Dallas Cowboys is the way that Jerry Jones and company have built the team around Dak Prescott, mm -hmm. elite off his line. Although they didn't show it against the Saints, the Saints you know bullied them you know in the, in that game. Wide receiving core. Uh, you, you know, trading for Amari Cooper was a, was a was a big coup for for the Dallas Cowboys offense. You got Zeke Elliott in the backfield, an elite defense. So you have all those things going for you. If you're if you're Dak Prescott, last last week you play against the New Orleans Saints. Your defense doesn't even give up a touchdown, and you can't elevate your team enough to win a game against a New Orleans Saints team that doesn't have Drew Brees. But you want me to pay you? Uh, $34, $35 million a year? Are you crazy? Now, listen, we all know how this stuff works. Guys leapfrog each other. Wentz gets paid. Then Goff comes right behind him and gets paid. That's just how it works. So will he probably get the money? Probably. He'll probably get it. But should he? Do I think he deserves to get it? No, because I don't see a guy who elevate who... When things aren't perfect around him offensively, when Zeke Elliott isn't getting things going, the running game isn't getting things going, does he elevate the Dallas Cowboys offense and puts them on his back? No, he's never been that type of guy. But they're never. That, listen, I agree with you. If it were me, I wouldn't have given Goff the contract he got. I wouldn't give Dak the contract he's looking for if wait I minute, were but a team. At least, but, but at but, least, wait a minute, but at least Goff has been one in, in one of the best offenses in the league. Uh, Andy, wait, hold on. And he took the uh, Los Angeles Rams to the Super Bowl. Wentz, Damian, I'm Wentz was an MVP Damian, guy let's, hold on. before I left, he got hurt. I left Wentz out of this because Wentz is capable of higher heights than Dak or Goff, in my opinion. How's Goff looked since Gurley hasn't been right? That includes the Super Bowl. He looks all right. Most quarterbacks need a running game in order to do their thing. Even Aaron Rodgers, unfortunately, has never really had that play-action monster with him. Could you imagine? But Rodgers can elevate past that. Mahomes can elevate past that. We're talking about the most talented quarterbacks of all time. Everyone else, pretty much, needs a running game, right? So if you stop that, they're going to look ordinary. But actually, Dak usually comes through under pressure. Dak has a winning record partly because he's good on third down. He's big in those big moments. I agree with you. A game manager, big on third down, cool under pressure, is what Tom Brady and Russell Wilson originally were before they became star and goat player, right? And Dak maybe goes that in that direction. It looks to me like he is going in that direction. Maybe he's not there yet. I wouldn't give him the money if I were running a team, but the reality is, based on the market and the way he's played this year, he does deserve what he's looking for. He deserves what he's looking for, Damian Woody, and the bottom line is this. <clears throat> you can sit up there and say, we don't know. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with people like you and others who act like we've seen enough and we know definitively what Dak cannot do. The fact of the matter is, working the first three years of his professional career under Scott Linehan, it was primarily a run attack. They go where Ezekiel Elliott takes you. You got Kellen Moore in as your new offensive coordinator, first time, first year. He's got things to figure out. Your Dak, you throw for 400-plus yards the first game of the season against the Giants. You didn't have to do that against the Redskins. You beat them. You certainly didn't have to do that against Miami, a game in which you won 31-6. to So your first real test came against New Orleans last week. Mm. Ezekiel Elliott got his money. He ran for 35 yards. He averaged less than two yards a carry. Now, we know what Zeke can do, but the bottom line is that wasn't a good game for him. What do we know about Dak? He's never missed a game. He's 35-17 and 17 as a quarterback. He's a two-time Pro Bowler. He's been to the postseason twice. He's won a division twice. And on top of it all, guys within his division, like Carson Wentz, who no doubt is a big-time talent, excuse me, he's been hurt 
never even showed up in a postseason game because of his durability issues. And this dude gets $107 million in guarantee. What I'm saying is this. Do I want to set the market with Dak Prescott? No. Do I want to act like he's the best and make him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL? Hell no. I get that part. But if Carson Wentz deserves $33 million, all right, which is what he's supposedly getting paid, and $107 million in guarantees because of what he's doing or the position, what he's in, what he's been doing in his career, then what the hell does Dak Prescott make? If Jared Goff sitting up there and looks like straight garbage under Jeff Fisher but then looks lights out against Sean, with Sean McVay before it's scaling it back a little bit and he's had some rough patches and he gets $110 million, what does Dak Prescott deserve under those circumstances? That's how I'm has, looking at has it. Has Dak Prescott been to Super Bowl? No. Has Dak Prescott been ever been mentioned as an MVP candidate like that, uh, like Carson Wentz? No. Do you think Dak Prescott is better than Carson Wentz? I don't think he's better than no, Carson Wentz. No, he's but not. I think, well, wait do you think minute, Dak but, is but I do think. Do you guys think he's clutch? I think he's a clutch player. I think he's a clutch player. Not only that, I, I think he's a clutch player. I think he's dependable and reliable. I think there's something to be said for that. And I also think that, again, last week, you're going against the Saints. There's no Michael Gallup there. Amari Cooper was under lock and key by Lattimore, okay? Saints got Grand a great run defense the, last couple it, it, years. So all I'm saying, you just look at some of the circumstances. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. He's got to work through it. All I'm trying to say is that in today's game, we're seeing people get paid that don't necessarily deserve it. And I'm saying we can't definitively sit up there and say that about Dak when the man is winning football games and other cats ain't necessarily doing that, but they getting paid. I mean, Matt Ryan, what's he doing? Matt Stafford, what's he doing? Kirk Cousins, what the hell is he doing? And also, you know, and also, if people. you're the better, the, oh, the way, I, listen, I'm not listen. I'm not knocking the whole Kirk Cousins or anything like that. But when you're talking about what the, the resources that the Dallas Cowboys have put around Dak Prescott. But that yeah, wasn't over the, there. Oh, over the years, they put... What? The, Amari, no, oh, wait, hold on. The, we just the defended offensive, last year when Amari the, Cooper the, came the, on board. The, the offensive line? Seven games into the, the season. The offensive seven line? Seven games into the season. Okay, but I'm just saying, have they, 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 Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.